elements of a democracy so as we all are aware that india is a democratic government so let's discuss what is democracy and what are the elements and what are the things that come under democracy so a democracy has certain key elements that is major elements which makes it the most preferred form of government today so in the world democracy is the most preferred form of government and what are the elements that come under democracy participation accountability conflict resolution that is solving any problems issues and concern for equality and justice so let's see the first element participation so in democracy participation means to take part in so who takes part who participates in the so participation means to take part in so in democracy every citizen of the country has the right to participate in the decision making process of the government that is in electing the government whom to elect all these things every citizen who has crossed 18 years of age can participate and has the right in making the process of government so democracy is a fair and free system of election because every citizen has the right to participate it is a fair and free system of election there is no chance of cheating forgery so because it is a fair and free system of election the representatives of the government will be chosen by the citizens of the country so people participate in the governance how by electing the person whom they feel will understand all their problems and will solve their problem see when there is election there will be four five political parties and many people standing in the election but people will by themselves with their choice elect only one single person whom they feel is the right person to solve their issues and this person will act as the representative of the government for that particular town or city or village and also in democracies all the people of the city participate and influence the government decisions how do they participate and influence the government decisions by participating in strikes protests marches and rallies and then media you know media the news channels the newspapers all these things come under media and also the internet so this is a very powerful tool for the people who are in the democratic government because through media they can directly participate in the government decisions so the government cannot control the media directly the people of the town city or village will participate in the government decisions and request their demands to the government through the media that is through the newspapers through the internet and through the tv channels so you can see in this figure people above 18 years of age are standing in a queue to cast their vote that means an election process is going on so they are standing in a queue to put their vote and to elect a leader who they think will solve the issues of the people so this is the voters standing in a queue to cast their vote in a democratic government people leader of their choice next key element of the democracy is accountability accountability means being responsible for one actions that means if i am doing some action only i am responsible for that action whether it is a good action or bad action only i am responsible for my action same way the leader who has been elected by the people in the democratic government if he is doing something wrong then only he is responsible for his action and nobody else is responsible so every citizen of the town or city they have the power to hold their elected representatives accountable that means they have right to question the representatives they are doing something wrong then the citizens of that society have the right to question that elected representative and suppose if the representative turned out to be dishonest and he is doing some wrong activities then they are police and judiciary that is court judiciary is court and the police they are there to task them and punish them okay and also the people 
of that place can register a complaint against that leader if he is dishonest and if he is doing something wrong then the police and the district court will take the action against them and along with that the people of the place can complain in the police station against that leader and in addition to that every democratic country has a constitution constitution means a specific laws designed by the constitution means a specific laws which have been designed for the benefit of the people and this constitution specifies the powers of the government it gives us the knowledge of the power of the government which rules the country and also gives us the knowledge of what we can do as a citizen we can complain we can ask the information we can know the details of the elected representative we can know the details of what work he is doing so constitution has given rights to every citizen of the country and they are separate rights for every action every crime done so this constitution specifies the powers of the government like what government can do and what citizens can do when there is something wrong going on so these provisions of the constitution are protected by the judiciary the court the court of that specific place pro protects the constitution rules so students as you see in this picture this is the supreme court of india located at the new delhi this is the judiciary as i told you the court acts as the judiciary and this protects the rules of the constitution formulated by the government next key element in the democracy is conflict resolution that means to solve any problems or issues faced by the public so the earth the mother earth has limited natural resources natural resources means freely available resources like land water and petrol the demand for these resources is also increasing day by day everybody is aware of that the population is increasing and the demand of the resources is also increasing but these since these resources are limited the demand see these resources are limited but the demand is increasing then what happens there will be conflict between the people that means the people will start to fight among each other for these available natural resources and then who solves these conflicts that is the fights the issues between the people who are fighting for natural resources then the democracy there in the democratic by which these conflicts can be resolved so what are these methods there is one method called judiciary judiciary means the team of judges in a court so the team of judges work together and solve the issues in a conflict and then there is also district court the district court also solves the conflicts in a very fair manner and also there is police police is another body which deals with the conflict resolution so as you know every city every town every district has a police station for the they work for the benefit of the people if the people have any problem they come and register a complaint here then the police takes action and solves the issues of the public next element for democracy is concern for equality and justice so in democracy all are treated equally that is equality all the people of the country are equal in the eyes of the law that means the judiciary the court treats all the citizens of the country in a equal manner so in india the population is more right millions and millions people are there but these people are suffering due to two things that is caste system and system of untouchability see in india there are many castes right ordinary caste backward caste scheduled caste scheduled tribes and then people are being differentiated on these basis of caste system and there is then then there is untouchability also people the lower caste will not be touched by the other people of the higher caste tribal people will not be touched by the people of the higher caste that is known as a system of untouchability many people suffer because of this system right and then based on the caste system there is reservation for the people in the parliament in the educational institutions and the government undertaking jobs so the scheduled caste and the scheduled type sc and sts have more amount of reservation everywhere in the parliament in the educational system in the government jobs everywhere so this is one major problems in the democracy 
and one more thing is gender bias male female separated there are separate rules for the males and the females that is the gender bias system so because of all these things the government has launched several projects so that these systems these problems can be solved government is giving more preference to the girls girls are being given free schooling by the government so these are some of the more elements of the democracy which makes it the most accepted form of governance in the modern world because all are equal in the eyes of law in spite of having caste system gender bias female infanticide the government is trying to solve all these problems by launching several schemes right so these are the few of the important elements of democracy and democracy is the widely accepted form of governance in the modern world so as you see in this image this is a separate school for the girls which provides education for free and then the girls can go to school and study and get good jobs in the future